is an introduction to the ArduPilot interface to the Torquedo electric outboard motors. Um, apologies in advance if the sound is not too good on this uh, video. It's a lot of construction going on behind me. Sorry about that. In any case, um, uh, we've written this new interface uh, which is going to be included in ArduPilot Rover 4.2 and um, it allows us to control these uh, Torquedo motors. Uh, they come in all kinds of different uh, shapes and sizes but the one that I've got here is the Travel 1003. And uh, so it has a one kilowatt hour battery. Um, it's got a manual uh, tiller control here, which we don't use. And then of course it's got the regular uh, shaft and propeller. And um, the reason that you might want to use one of these motors instead of say a DC trolling motor is that it allows uh, higher speeds. So you can get a, a boat going faster than you could with a, a DC trolling motor. So just to jump to the, straight to the point, um, I've got my autopilot here connected up uh, to the Torquedo motor and I'm going to arm it and just show that I can actually move the propeller. So it's armed and I'll just raise the throttle and the propeller moves forward and then if I pull the throttle down the propeller moves in reverse. Right now the vehicle's in uh, manual mode but um, of course it works in autonomous modes as well. To dive into a bit more detail um, the way that it's connected at the moment is using this throttle extension cable um, and uh, it, it's uh, connected into the, uh, the throttle connector at the top of the motor. And um, so I purchased this cable from Torquedo and then cut the end off and then down here is an RS485 to TTL converter and uh, then uh, serial comes out the other side and goes into the telemetry port of the autopilot. So I've got a custom build board here. This was uh, built by running running electronics um, but um, early on in the development I used this uh, very simple and cheap um, RS45 to TTL converter that I bought on eBay for three dollars so you can use this as well so that's uh, one way to, to connect it there's actually another way to uh, connect it and that is to go uh, directly to the motor so you disconnect the, uh, the tiller and the battery and you disconnect this thick cable which is coming out of the motor and then you then buy and connect a motor extension cable. So this plugs into the motor and then the other end uh, you've got the same uh, uh, converter board here and then I put an XT90 uh, connector on here. So the, uh, there's advantages and disadvantages to these two different methods of connecting. Um, the uh, big advantage for going straight to the motor is that you can use a larger battery. So uh, for one project I need 2.5 kilowatt hours of power and um, this one kilowatt hour battery is obviously not enough so I'm using six uh, Panasonic e-bike batteries connected in serial uh, with little ideal diodes uh, for safety. So that's uh, one advantage. Uh, the other advantage is that um, it may be that we get faster response from the motor with a direct motor connection. And that's because we can send updates at up to 50 hertz, whereas if we go through the uh, throttle connector, we can get a maximum of three hertz. So we might get faster response. Uh, there is one large downside though, uh, to going directly to the motor. And that is that inside the torpedo battery, it's got some safety uh, mechanisms inside uh, to protect the the ESC inside the motor uh, from being burned out. So it is possible apparently uh, with very extreme um, you know, throttle movements to burn out the ESC. The Torquedo battery protects against that. And if you're going direct to the motor, you're bypassing that protection. Now, of course, we're gonna try and build that same protection into the Arduino Pilot driver, but um, I'm sure that um, Torquedo would prefer if you went through the, the throttle connector and it may be out of warranty if you go uh, directly to the to the motor. So that is about it. I hope this is useful.